I'm the curator of the New Zealand Motor Neuron Disease Registry. The registry enrolls people with motor neuron disease who are interested in taking part in research. Some of the research that's um, currently underway are drugs to try and halt the progression or slow down the progression and um, that's, that's looking at many different biological methods of trying to attack motor neuron disease. There's a trial currently underway in Australia. The uh, uh, drug is uh, called COPPER-2 ATSM and um, they've had really promising results. And so there's a large study that's just about to start in New Zealand. It's being run by um, Dr Scotter from the University of Auckland and she's looking for 300 people with motor neuron disease in New Zealand to donate blood for genetic testing. And she's looking for people not only who have familial motor neuron disease, but also people who don't. So she's looking for potential um, genetic, small genetic changes in people who, um, who don't have familial motor neuron disease. So this is groundbreaking. Um, and that it will mean that we have a really good picture of what the genetic makeup of people in New Zealand with motor neuron disease looks like because our population is different to everywhere else. The more people that register, the more powerful the registry becomes because of its, its pull for research but also its pull for funding. It might be really hard for people to think about registries and research because this research might not help them at all. It might only help people further down the line. And that's a really hard thing to think about, especially if it's in your family. But it, it's important to be involved in research if you would like to because it really does help. That This is how we progress um, new knowledge about the disease and new drugs, this is how they get tested. And eventually research is, is how we get towards a cure, how we stop this from being such a horrible thing for people. My dream is that one day people get diagnosed with motor neuron disease and they say, oh well, I'll just take this drug and, and it's no big deal.